Kong is going to power up my commentary too, hopefully. Ooh, well, hopefully it powers up everybody on stage. We got the team composition coming out from both, all powered up, ready to go. Winners, finals, first best of five we're going to see tonight. Winners, losers, and grants are best of five. Yep, exactly. We're in that best of five territory for now, but once we hop over to loser semis, it's going to be the last best of three of the tournament. Also, if we could get a quick break before loser semis, that would be great so I can hit the bathroom. Your boy was definitely just on a plane for like a million years. You took a long time to get here. So did these competitors currently on stream. Everybody trying to find their way into control and pretty much dead even. Like, everybody's just throwing hands right now. Whole lot of 1v1s going on. You see Light taking the point over by Mars. Meanwhile, Mars trying to go save Mr. E over on the corner. Decent defense from Don, but he's taking a high amount of percent since he's been stuck at the ledge. Oh, he's going to get caught committing to that up air. Mars waiting on the other side. Get to close that out. Yeah, stock's flying already 45 seconds into the match. That's just what you can expect from these two teams meeting. Mm -hmm. And plus all the ridiculous kill power from pretty much every character other than Mario, who yeah. still gets his licks in for sure. Oh, no, Mar Mario definitely still has plenty going for him. And not getting those techs is a very bad mistake. You always have to make sure that you're teching against Mars. He's got a conversion ready for you to go. Wow, Mr. E looking like a wall right there, just not moving at all. But Mars going to slide so far onto the stage. That does not happen often. He barely misses those flip kicks onto Firefoxes, and he actually missed that time, forcing him to end up dying instead of Light. You can see Mars and Light just only want to fight each other. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so it, funny. That, I, I, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said it really well. Whenever you have your, your teammates, you, like, you're really, like, you push each other. But when you're on the opposing side, uh, you, you want to make sure that you're the one that's saucing the other. You don't want to look like you're a little bit weaker. Both of them love to tackle each other. So many explosive gameplays coming out between these two. I'm, I thought you were going to drop my favorite quote ever, which is by Okami about Mars and Light, which is that they're two halves of the same idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it, dude. That, I mean, and you just see them fighting like left brain versus right brain throughout this match. But Light and Dawn sticking together, I like that. Of course, essential in the team's format to stick by your partner's side. Whoa, the coverage by Mr. E, though. He noticed Light was just a little bit above the edge with that side B. Yeah, and he's going to punish him as hard as possible. Yeah, Don being forced out, not able to go get there and save Light in that situation. You see the defense of Mars just keeping Don buried in the corner, and then they trade off. But finally, Light's going to close out that stock on Mars, bringing this a little bit closer. Mr. E super healthy right now. He doesn't really seem to be too focused on moving around. He just wants to lock people down. Mm -hmm. If you're off the stage, keep throwing that down tilt so you have to think twice about coming back. Yeah, Mr. E's at home when he's at the ledge. If he can force you to stay stuck there, that is his time. And um, once again, Don creeping above the ledge. He gets closed out. That is, the, I think, the third stock of the set that he lost by overcommitting a little bit off the jump there. But you got to do something to get off that ledge. Get Mr. E, it's very hard. All right. 2v1 situation. Even the likes of Light will be hard pressed to come back from a situation this bad. Wow, side B from Lucina actually killing? What kind of DI was that? I mean, maybe that actually just was straight up kill, but I it could have been main this character. I've never killed with that. He might have been trying to DI out to fall out of that, that fourth hit of Dancing Blade. It is a little inconsistent at times. Oh, yeah. It looked yeah. like he held out after the third one, but just didn't adjust fast enough. Yeah, just barely catching right on the nose. Thank you. Uh, compliments of Devin watching on point with the production. Like always, get destroyed always. by that side B. By the way, um, the beefy Smash dudes have apparently tested and discovered that you cannot change your DI once the dramatic finish hits. So whatever you were holding before that flash, that's going to go through. So oh. uh, thank God, because that would be so unfair, right? It's like that would be a, you just do combo DI, and then if it freezes, you're like, oh, no problem. I'll just uh, adjust it. And I've been giving people praise for adjusting DI this whole time. I was wrong. Right, yeah. so going into game number two here, we had Pokemon Stadium in Kalos Band. We're going to be running it over to Town and City. All right, nice big stage here, both in the floor plan and the ceiling. Though I believe you do die early off the sides here. So we can see that Lucina forward smash, that boost kick go nuts here. I think this is a pretty good stage pick overall for Mars and Mr. E. I'm kind of surprised to see this be the counter pick. Yeah, the fact that Fox and Mario love killing off the top. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to point that out. You have the higher blast zones off the top, and you have both up smashes being the, the, the kills of choice from the green team. Might have just been the fact that they want a little bit more to work with in terms of landing and then alternate back to having the FD layout like so. Yeah, effectively FD part two. And we just saw Mars and Light, I'm sorry, Mars and Mr. E go in on that stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very puzzling counter pick here. But of course, a lot of things in Ultimate, I feel like just boil down to preference. It could be the fact that uh, both Mars, uh, excuse me, um, Light and Don, 
Light gonna lose his stock to Mars. Uh, Light and Don love going uh, for a lot of throws into uh, kill confirms. Mm -hmm. And usually those throws lead light to, uh, right to where Light is on a platform. So that could be part of it. We'll see. So far, it's been working out for the blue team. Not phased by this counter pick at all. And take Mars, being the healthier player, gonna take the lead here. Oh, and take a back air to the face from his partner. Oh, you know what? It just clicked for me that this is, should feel right at home for Mars, who used to team with his brother Puck West all the time, playing Marth and or Lucina. Yeah, de de definitely a, a while ago, but nonetheless, he has the, the proper uh, idea of what this matchup needs to be and how he makes it work. Oh, oh. just barely missing that fair off of that uh, rapid jab. That would have been a quick stock that they definitely could have used right now. And you saw Don get in position for that. Oh, but the signature footstool for Mr. E. So many people are tempted to just drop low because they don't want to get forward aired by Lucina and lose their jump in the process. But man, Mr. E has an answer for that every time. This guy, one of the really only people who goes for intentional footstools. Let's say Esam being the other one. And going for that back air as well, closing out the stock on light again. This is a very large deficit they're looking at here. Five stocks. Two, two, they can get rid of these relatively fresh stocks and bring this to three stocks, but you gotta get light, turning it up a bit. Don has to play very strong defense, almost hitting the, the roll with that up smash, but Mr. E just holding the stock still. Yeah, this is a bloodbath on the part of the blue team. Mr. E not showing any signs of letting up. And plus, even if Mars does manage to get kind of bodied here, mm -hmm. then hey, just take from the bank of Mr. E. He's got stocks to spare. I think I think part of why they decided to go for that 2v1 while Mr. E was at kill percent there was just to get this damage exactly where it is because they were to close that stock out and they got that share stock right away and now this back to even. Oh, and they both got hit by that, but Mr. E being at a lower percent came out of hit stun first, just swung the back air and closed it. Yeah, how to stuff up momentum right away. They, they brought this back to even and now Don looking at a very, very difficult task here between both uh, having to deal with the disjoint of Mr. E, just staying back, and Marsh is holding the front. Very, very rough spot. Yeah, he's up against the best player in your region and the second best one in mine. So, uh, I don't know if I like his odds here. Yeah, just going to hold him in place. Mr. E walks up. Didn't even have to tip her, but it kind of looked like he did. Yeah, he still definitely spaces as if he's playing. Of course. Yeah, his, his true heart main of Marth. Uh, fortunately, Marth doesn't do the same successful tactics that you get out of Lucina right now, so he's swapping over. But hopefully, yeah. I know a lot of people won't agree, but I, I kind of miss Marth. Dude, I think Marth is disgusting in this game, and people are just sleeping right now. Obviously, Lucina, of course, got that consistent damage output. You don't have to be too delicate with all your hits, right? But Marth has setups off of the weak hits into the tippers, mm -hmm. and off of just weak hits into weak hits to keep combos going, keep you nice and close. And then the tippers are actually ridiculous in Basically, game, particularly the side B. Yeah, if you delay on that side B, that move is still yeah. so strong. I think the big thing is just like, why put the extra effort into committing into spacing right. when I could just do all of this with just Lucina? Yeah, I think it's the safety on block, right? Because Lucina's sword is about 75% as strong as the tippers yeah. overall. And on block, due to the way like the block stun formula works in this mm -hmm. game, that missing 25% between Marth's tipper and just all of Lucina's hits, Barely noticed. Losing, Maybe like the matter of one or two frames of blocks. Yeah, them. losing jab one and everything too also definitely hurt and the consistency of getting that side beat all the time. So, well, I did see it recently pop up a lot on Twitter for that, but back in the game number three here, currently Green Team looking at possibly being 3-0'd in winner's finals and getting sent down to losers, but see if they can make the run back on FD. Oh, Mr. E just trying to swing on Don there, but of course Mario is such a mobile character. Even though he lacks the range with those stubby limbs, he can still really weave his way around the sword characters and get some interesting stuff going. Oh, Don, yeah, still able to make it. Mr. E swinging the down air too early. And what looked like a horrible position for the green team has been swiftly recovered from. They end up with stage control until both hits of Nair for Mr. E clean it up and wow. Two back-to-back -back stocks, Mr. E and Mars looking on fire right yeah, now. Both successful edge guards yet again after what we saw in game two. It's just repeating right here in game number three. All falling out of the, yet another multi-hit. Granted, that was proper DI. Yeah, it looks like it. Like just, just not being able to finish your food where you need it the most. Like it is it, it very, very detrimental to the green team that they cannot close these stocks out right now. Oh, Mars, you're crazy. I thought he was going to trade stocks and just go for the boost kick. Hey, willing to commit to it. If you're a stock up like that, you can get rid of uh, a stock on light. That, that's beneficial all the way through. Mr. E's not losing any. And Mars is the master of suicide kills, too, so I really thought we were going to see that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, especially in this game number three here, up two games. We see them commit to that. But finally, we're going to see Mars losing that first stock there. Yeah, blue team in a great position for this 3-0 right now. But you never know. Green team finally tying up the stock count. 
They just need to cause about 200 damage, and they're back in it. Yeah, blue team was a perfect sync, going for not one up B, but two. And the problem is, light dodged both of them. Here we go, the boost kick. And it's going to be yet another stock down on light. You trying to go for another one on Don there, probably would have killed at that point, too. Oh, see, right there, the coverage from Mars yet again. Every time Don gets a point where he reverses the ledge trap from Mr. E, he's lost a lot of stocks from Mars, just keeping track of him. All right, got this sandwich going from the blue team, but unable to make anything off of it. Light and Dawn gonna make the breakaway, okay. And all things considered, this is a lot closer than it was a minute ago. Mm -hmm. oh. Meanwhile, Mr. E kind of committing, almost kind of playing the same book that Mars was. And you just sneezed on his shield. That Dolphin Slash is gonna get you out of here. Now Don looking at yet another 2v1, down four stocks. Yeah, this is running away quite quickly here. And fighting these guys in a 2v1, next to impossible, I'd say. Exactly. Anytime you try to commit, you already, we've already seen Mars just constantly closes the stocks out the moment he tries to go for anything. So he's got to be careful now. Going for the up smash, that's one piece. Yeah, out of the four you need to collect. Mm. And there we go, just walks up. Oh, but Nerf Boys, mm. that forward smash a little bit less strong. I think even pre-patch. I don't know if Mars might like, have been able to hang like on. kicked Mr. E for the sake of putting him in position to go and cover the other end. No. Or if he just felt like kicking him. He just wanted he to kick him. probably just felt like kicking him, but... That's going to be a 3-0 victory coming in from the blue team of uh, Mars and Mr. E over Light and Don. That was a, again, that was looking very, very rough. Just the fact that they had many, many situations where they weren't able to close things out uh, compared to the, you know, the blue team. Light wasn't be able to get there fast enough to protect Don when he was in those last uh, ledge trap situations. He tried really hard to, but Mars and Mr. E just knew that he was going there. And instead of what we saw or thought about before, going for Light all the time, they just let light fall into the trap of trying to protect Don and worked out very well for them.